Can you have special circumstances in your lease? When are they legal and not? For example, what if my insurance won't allow a breed of dogs? Can I put that in my lease? Can I put no cats in my lease if I am allergic to them? Uh, yes, obviously you can put all, all sorts of limitations. What you couldn't do though is uh, simply deny someone uh, who has a medical necessity uh, a reasonable accommodation. And so if you are, for example, yourself um, violently allergic to cat uh, fur, and you say, look, I, I can't have a cat, I, I know that's your emotional support animal, but I absolutely cannot have it, unless you agree to pay for cleaning service X, which will decat my whole house. So as a reasonable accommodation, you can allow the tenant to do that as long as they pay a, uh, a, a special cleaning fee uh, for that. It would be akin to someone requiring a ramp uh, to come onto your property. It would be reasonable to allow them to do it if they will cover the costs uh, associated with having that medical device. So in one place, it's a wheelchair. Uh, if they're willing to pay for the ramp, Absolutely, you should allow it because it is a reasonable accommodation that you will allow them to build a ramp as long as they cover the cost to set it up and to take it down once they leave. If they're willing to do that, then it would be unethical and probably illegal for you to, to not allow that. I mean, in the event of a, of a pet, um, if it's an absolute medical need and they will pay to, uh, to, to remove all evidence of that animal once uh, they leave, I believe in that sense, because you yourself have an allergy to them, uh, it would be uh, perfectly fair and, and reasonable for you to uh, require that. In terms of breeds of dogs, yes. Uh, if your insurance will not allow, uh, I would disclose that in uh, your lease. I would also disclose that in your house rules, what dogs uh, uh, you are limited to uh, by virtue of your insurance policy.